me there, you guys, and I think there's been a little bit of confusion. They did not force anybody to leave here. This was basically just a cleanup. It started at about 10 o'clock this morning. They had about two weeks warning. Anybody who wanted to get rid of anything could put it out on the street, and then a big scooper came and got rid of it. They're not forcing anyone to leave right now. I'm with Rob Reynolds. He is with uh, Veterans Outreach called AMVETS. He helped organize this cleanup. Thank you so much for being here. Talk to me about how it went and your thoughts. I think it went really well. So um, we've been working with uh, Supervisor Sheila Cool's office and the Sheriff's Department. Uh, there was obviously some stuff we needed to get cleaned up, and we had some guys that had moved into programs and different things. So um, it was very helpful. The county came through. We had everything ready to go. We took down some tents, got things cleared out. Um, and we do. We did a few tent replacements for some of the guys that need them just to have old tents out here. Um, all of them are under the care of the VA, and we're just working to get them into different programs and housing opportunities. Just, you know, unfortunately nothing happens overnight, so it's a long process. And, you know, we're hopeful that things will get corrected in the VA so that this can stop happening in the future. Yeah, there is the opportunity for them to go inside the VA, but of course they have to follow a lot of rules in there, so a lot of them choose to be out here. Most of these guys, veterans, right? Yes, most of them are, all of them are veterans. Everyone in a tent with a flag on it is veterans. Um, there's a lot of things that people don't really understand what's happening. Uh, it's a large bureaucracy. To get people inside, it's not easy. A lot of guys show up here, they don't have IDs, they don't have their paperwork. So we have to go through a whole registration process just to get them inside. So it's not like they can get in on a same-day service. So a lot of times what happens is they'll arrive, we'll get them through the process, they don't get completed, and then the VA police will have them leave the property. They come back out to the sidewalk. And then at that point, we have them in a tent outside, and it's, you know, once you get them in a tent outside, they're like, well, what's the difference between inside and outside? And the inside is a harm reduction model, so uh, the rules are really laid back. There's just some simple fixes to kind of get through the red tape to get people in more efficiently that we're working towards. Walk with me. I want to introduce this to, to Doc, but real quickly, I know that this has become pretty political. When will this be cleaned up completely, would you say? Uh, well, that's... Uh that's on the VA. They got to get some things corrected inside. Again, um, you have to have the services here to where guys can show up and get consistent same-day services so this doesn't happen. And as it stands right now, that's just not the case. All right. Doc, are you in there? Doc invited us to come on in and have a look. Now, they did bring a lot of new tents in here. Oh, he's not in here. Not in uh, but he did say that we could look inside. So this is a brand new tent, um, one of many that they put out here as part of the cleanup process today. And as for business owners in the area, Marla and Bob, I mean, some are, are fine with with this encampment the, the guys here are really nice to them they don't have any problems others are sick of it they say it's an eyesore and it's time for this to be cleaned up we've seen this in azusa we've seen this in echo park we've seen it in venice um, we did also hear council city council last week uh, voted for an ordinance that would um, help get rid of encampments near schools near um, overpasses near fire hydrants now that does not relate to this because this is actually county property and that ordinance has not gone into effect yet but um, you can can see that they have done, if you live in this area, quite a bit of cleanup, although it may not look like it, um, but they, they have uh, cleaned up a lot with deputies this morning and with the sanitation crew. Um, we're gonna, <laughs> I was going to introduce you to this lady, but it looks like we have to go. Um, we will have much more on this coming up at 5 and 6, but for now, reporting live here in Brentwood, I'm Haley Winslow, Marla and Bob, back to and you.